Welcome to the Remark Software YouTube channel. With this video, we will be showcasing how you can use the Grade Wizard in Remark Office OMR to apply learning objectives to your exams. Learning objectives, which are often referred to as subtests, can be defined within the Grade Wizard portion of Remark Office OMR. These objectives enable the teacher to evaluate a student's knowledge on a particular subset of questions. You may create an unlimited number of learning objectives for each exam and then assign specific questions to each objective. Questions may be reused in multiple objectives. You may also assign benchmark values to the learning objectives to measure student proficiency. The benchmark value is the score you want your students to achieve in order to be considered proficient. Remark QuickStats provides grades for the entire test, as well as grades for individual learning objectives. This allows the instructor to see where students have mastered the content and where others may need additional assistance. The learning objective feature is available within all of the Remark products. This tutorial will highlight the steps required to define learning objectives in Remark Office OMR. These same steps would need to be taken in Remark Classic OMR and Remark Web Survey. The Remark team will be posting a separate video on how to use learning objectives in Remark Test Grading Edition. Now I will demonstrate how to define learning objectives for an exam that was processed with Remark Office OMR. We are currently in the Remark Office OMR Data Center. The spreadsheet that you see contains all of the raw data collected from a group of tests we have scanned. I have scanned in an answer key, but this information can be defined manually within the Grade Wizard. In order to define our learning objectives, we must select the Grade Wizard icon. This will launch Remark QuickStats in a new window. The Getting Started window appears first, which allows you to set up basic parameters for the test grading process. These parameters include benchmark settings and allowing for multiple answer keys. As you can see, I have a default benchmark of 70% already set. When using learning objectives, you will need to mark the checkbox for this test contains one or more learning objectives. This will activate the learning objectives link off to the left. When we select the learning objectives link, we will be prompted to create a new learning objective. This can be done by simply entering the name of the learning objective in the name box and then clicking the add button. Alternatively, you may import a list of objectives from a spreadsheet or database file. I am going to add a second objective manually. The graded questions on the test are listed in the Available Questions box. To add to this list, confirm that the appropriate objective is selected, then choose the question or questions in the Available Questions box. You can double-click questions to add them quickly to a learning objective. You can also select multiple questions by holding down the Control key as you click questions, or by clicking a question, holding down the Shift key, and then clicking another question to select the range of questions. Click the Add Questions to the Selected Learning Objective button to add questions to each objective. The selected questions are moved to the Learning Objectives box beneath the Selected Learning Objective. You may use the Remove Questions from the Selected Learning Objectives arrow to remove any unwanted questions assigned to a particular learning objective. Each question can be assigned to more than one learning objective. If desired, you can assign a benchmark score to the learning objective by marking the checkbox for Define Benchmark Value. Here you will need to enter the percent score students should achieve on the learning objective in the percent score box. I am going to assign a benchmark of 75% to our first objective, and then 80% to our second objective. Select Reports will show us which students have met and not met the benchmark. I can now proceed to the full list of available reports by clicking Finish. Please note that this video is strictly showing the Learning Objectives feature. Additional steps may be required before you can generate your reports. Remark QuickStats will automatically generate our default report. In this case, we have the Student Statistics Report. This report provides the scores for all students in the class. The benchmark score, if defined, is shown on the benchmark difference graph in the column assigned for the percent score. When students meet or exceed this expectation, the graph is shown in green. When they fall short, the graph is shown in red. To see the results of our learning objectives, we will have to scroll through the various pages of the reports. As we come to the second page, we can see that a separate table shows the student information for our first objective. A benchmark of 75% was assigned. A third page is available to show the results of our second objective with a benchmark of 80%.
Another report that teachers may find useful when assigning learning objectives is the student grade report. This report provides a detailed grade report for each student included in the grade operation. This is a great report if you need to hand something back to the student. If a benchmark score was defined, you may include a bar chart depicting the student's score along with the benchmark. If learning objectives were defined, you will see scores for each learning objective in addition to the overall test. Benchmarks for the learning objectives will also be displayed. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial on applying learning objectives in the Remark Office OMR Grade Wizard. For more information, please contact the Remark Sales Team or visit our website to sign up to receive the latest news and updates from the Remark Products Group. Thank you for your interest in the Remark software.